Hi, I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production specialist. Come join me on Colour Me In for another post-production demonstration. Hi, and welcome back. Today I want to do a short video on Avid Media Composer. Now this particular video is going to show you a menu option that you may not have seen before, but it's something that we use in the post-production world all the time. Um, it's basically a refresh sequence. This sequence will help you uh, sort of refresh any problematic renders or other issues of motion adapters that may be causing a bit of an issue. And it's quite handy when you're flipping between interlace and the progressive world as well. And that's a demo I want to show you today. Okay, so how do you change a, um, how do you change an interlace sequence to a progressive sequence, okay? In order for your output, you, that, you know, it's quite important. You know, if your delivery is progressive and you've given a, an interlaced uh, output, then you're in trouble, okay? So, and vice versa, okay. And the way that we do that is we need to check the format of the project first. So if I click on format and you can see 1080 i 50. So this is an interlaced project. There's 50 fields there. Okay, that's not 50 frames. That's 50 interlaced fields. Okay. Now, what we need to do is to flip this to progressive. Okay, so let's imagine all of my source media is progressive and I want my sequence to be progressive. Now we go to the format, we go to uh, 1080 and we switch it to 1080p 25. Okay. And that warning will pop up, that's fine, click OK. And now you will see that this sequence, um, uh, well, it wouldn't have changed much, but the project would have changed. You can see the project now is saying that it is um, 1080p25, which is what we want. How do we know whether this is what this sequence is? How do we know? Well, an easy way of doing that is click in this gray bar at the top, right click, choose columns. And if you scroll down, you want to select the format. Choose OK. And then format will pop up and you can see it's saying 1080 i 50. Okay, so the project is progressive, but the sequence is still interlaced. That's not what we want, okay? So not only do we need to change the project, we actually need to change the sequence format too. Now, how do we do that? Well, a really easy way of doing that is if you click on sequence, right click, and you go down to uh, refresh sequence. Now, this is the menu that I wanted to show you. What you can do with this is that you can reset like all the time warps, the aspect ratio, color adapters, plugins, stereo uh, correction effects, audio slips, group edits. So it allows you to, to reset quite a lot of things, which is really quite cool. And also um, removes the color adapters too. What I'm going to do is hit all. Okay, I'm going to hit all because this sequence doesn't really have anything in it. Click all. And as soon as I do that, you can see that it's flipped to 1080p 25. It's reset the sequence. And now I can carry on and edit in the way that I want, okay? In a progressive world. Um, this particular menu uh, is really useful. Um, it can sort of dig you out of quite a few of interesting holes um, by um, just refreshing the sequence if Avid is throwing up a weird error. You could try doing that too. Um, sometimes that can work. You know, other times it's resetting the media databases, which will solve that. But with Avid, Avid, as we know with Avid, Avid will throw up a weird menu error and you have to spend hours searching through Google to find out what that is. It's not very self-explanatory, Avid, sometimes when there's an issue. When it works, it works. We all know that. When it, Avid works, it works. But when Avid throws up a problem, it's rip your hair out time, okay? Now, this is one way that you can get around that. But, but ultimately, this demo today is just showing you a really simple way of uh, flipping out interlaced to progressive and also the reverse of that too, okay? Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. See you next time. If you like that video, please give me a like or subscribe or type in down below demos you'd like to see next. Catch you next time.